Let's talk food safety, because a lot of people wonder if they, when they lose power, how long is their food safe in the refrigerator or freezer? And the last thing you want to do is get food poisoning if you're already dealing with other after effects of the storm. So keep in mind that freezers in general should be kept at zero degrees Fahrenheit or below. Refrigerators should be at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. And if you don't know what temperature your appliance is at, you need to get a thermometer and keep it inside. If you lose power, really important for you not to open up the door to your refrigerator or your freezer because you're allowing that cold air to escape and your food isn't going to last as long. So if your power has been out and it's been up to four hours, we generally say after four hours you need to get rid of your perishable foods. Those are things like milk and poultry and fish and meats and deli meats and leftovers. It's time for your dairy products and all of those things to go. Other things can stay in a little bit longer, things like peanut butter and jelly, ketchup and mustard, fresh fruits and vegetables. As for freezers, if you have a full freezer that's chock full of stuff, then generally that food is safe up to about 48 hours with the power off. If your freezer's not that full, only half full, it's only about 24 hours that it lasts. And one way you can check is if you go into your freezer and there are still crystals on the food or the temperature of the freezer is below 40 degrees, then your food is probably still safe. Now, what can you do if a no you know a storm is coming and you want to try to protect your food as best as possible? Well, you can freeze containers of water so that you can keep your freezer and your refrigerator and coolers as cold as possible for as long as possible. And you can also group things together in your freezer so that they stay cold longer. And then obviously you can freeze things that are in, in your refrigerator. So things like meat and poultry and even milk can be frozen beforehand so you don't lose those things if the power goes out. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall for Everyday Health.